Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. This message is another message for the Aries dealing with a lover coming towards them. Aries, hi Aries. So this is a part two of the reading I did for you guys the other day regarding your this love, this person that's in love with you, Aries, coming towards you very quickly. Um, this is basically a part two of that video. Your person is rushing towards you, Aries. Okay, this person has had a major awakening, Aries. Let's get into these messages that I got for you guys so far. My love's dealing with this person. This divine masculine or divine feminine rushing towards you guys. Okay. Okay, Aries. So this is the two first cards that came out for your energy when I was uh, pulling these cards. Okay, Aries. So you guys are getting a lot of truths. Okay, seeing a lot of things that were being hidden from you guys in your lives. This could be in love and in finance and in your lives in general. Okay, you guys are getting a lot of truths. A lot of um, hidden things coming to the surface. Hidden feelings. Hidden um, agendas. Any um, hidden documents. Any hidden, um, mm, any hidden finances. Well, you guys are finding out the truth about a lot of things right now, Aries. Okay, because... God and the universe is speaking to you guys, and your guides are speaking to you guys a lot around this time. So you guys are very intuitive, okay? Also, Aries, you guys are receiving a lot of truth from this person. They can't get you off their mind, okay, Aries? I'm going to let you know right now from the door. Nobody has to take this person back in your life if you don't want to, okay? I'm just a reader. I'm just a messenger. I'm just letting you guys know what's going on with this person from the past that can't get you off their mind, that can't stop thinking about you guys, Aries, that wants to come forward towards you to give you some sort of truth about how they've been feeling or what's been going on in their lives, the reason why they cannot communicate or they haven't communicated, Aries. Um, okay, this person is liberating themselves. This person is having an awakening. This person is um, receiving their spiritual gifts and they're aligning with themselves. Aries, you guys that are awakened, you guys are helping this person awaken with your energies because you guys are connected. Aries, you guys are connected at a soul level with this person, okay? And um, telepathic communication between you and this person happens often, Aries, Spirit said. Okay, you guys dream about this person. This person is dreaming about you guys. Okay, so you having an awakening is helping your person have their awakening. And this is causing breakthroughs right now as we speak, okay, in their lives and in your lives. Okay, some of you guys are divine partner soulmates. Not all of you guys, okay? Like I said before, I'm going to say this again. You don't have to take this person back. That's up to you. That's that's totally up to you. You have free will. I'm just here to give you a message about what's going on with this person, Aries. Okay? Like I said, this person's been hangman mode. This person's been reflecting. This person's been going within. This person's been detaching from a lot of people as well because this person's removing their veil. God is removing their veil, and they're starting to see the truths in their lives as well. Okay? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, this person can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person could be a boss. This person could have their own business. This person could have um, employees. This person could be some sort of lawyer or, uh, a, a, you know, work in the justice system. This person could be in the military. This person could have been in the military. But whatever the case may be, this person is an emperor mode, emperor status. This person... um. This person was dealing with a lot of betrayal in their own lives, Aries. This person was dealing with a lot of people uh, stealing from them or just using them for money or just taking them for granted in some type of way, okay? <clears throat> and that pers this person could also be a father figure. I forgot to mention that, guys, for some of you guys, Aries, because it doesn't have to be a lover that's coming towards you to fix the relationship, Aries. This could be a family member, too, coming towards you to fix a relationship. Keep that in mind, my loves, okay? But nonetheless, you are receiving this beautiful sun card from Spirit. Um, You guys are being spoiled at this time by Spirit. You guys are... um. You guys are being favored because you guys have put in the work, because you guys have been doing the right things, because you guys have been loving yourselves and awakening to your gifts, because you guys have been helping other people as well with your healing energies. You guys are healers, empaths, psychics, um, speakers, 
I mean, you work with children. A lot of Aries right now are being rewarded and being spoiled right now because you guys did the work. You deserve it, okay? And even though Aries, your person is kind of scared to come forward, they're really nervous, Aries, so just cut them some slack. Spirit said, just hear this person out, okay, Aries? Don't have to uh, be so aggressive. Um, even if you don't want this person back, Spirit said, at least let them speak to you and give you the closure that you need and let them have their closure so that that way you guys can move forward and start something new without this person's energy attached to yours because it doesn't look like this person can get over you, Aries. This person can't let you go. No matter what they try to do, no matter where they try to go, no matter what's going on, this person can't let you go. They feel like you guys have unfinished business. They feel like their soul is calling them towards you. And um, Aries, they can feel your energy resisting them. They can feel you blocking them out of your energy. And they also uh, feel you having mixed emotions about them. One day, you know, you probably feel good about them. The next day, you don't. I don't know what's going on, but this person feels that energy and is making them afraid or nervous to come forward Aries okay just to let you know okay because um this person wants to offer you this nine of cups they want to offer you all the abundance everything you deserve they want to work with you they want to reciprocate energies they want to um put in the equal hard work towards this relationship willing to do whatever they need to do just to be in your life Aries okay this is what they want to give to you and this is also what you're going to be receiving from spirits and they know this and they know this. They know you're blessed. Okay? They see you as a star, as their wish, as everything to them. And they never met someone like you, Aries. They, this person never intended on falling in love. But they, I don't know what you did to this person. But Aries, they never let you go. They never stopped thinking about you. They never forgot. They were regretful and remorseful for a long time trying to forget. Trying to let go of you. But they couldn't. Because you're their wish. You're the star. Yeah. You're the most beautiful person they ever met. You're the person that gave them the real love. You're the person that was there for them when no one was. You're the person that went went and did everything for this person. Like, like they never met no one like you, Aries, okay? Just to let you know. And if they left you for someone else, the grass was definitely not greener, Spirit said. Mm-hmm. The grass was not greener, Aries, okay? This person was not happy somewhere else. All they could do was think about you, compare the person to you, and just, I don't know. And they can't hold back anymore. That's all I'm saying. Aries, you could be dealing with an uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could be dealing with a uh, Aquarius or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, Aries. As well as um, you can be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Yeah. This person is wanting to come towards you. Like to give you this passionate message, Aries. Because... This person is so passionate about you. They're so attracted to you. They never lost their attraction to you, Aries. Oh, my God. This person fantasizes about you all the time. Yes, this person wants to be intimate with you, Aries, with the Ace of Wands coming out. Mm -hmm. This person, um, Spirit said, they're packing. <laughs> okay, Aries, they're packing, and they just want to be intimate with you. Um, they see you as so sexy and seductive. Yes, they want to give you this beautiful offer of love and commitment and intimacy. They can't get you off their mind. They're having dreams and fantasizing about you. Male or female, Aries. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this person is coming towards you fast like this knight of swords. Very, very fast. Some of them are in their feelings, Aries, because... Some of them feel like you've just been blocking them out or like you're too happy without them. Like you're just living your best life and you're not thinking about them. And they're very um, they're very emotional, I heard. Yeah, they're very emotional. So just hear this person out when they come forward. Some of, um, some of these, Aries, some of you guys are dealing with a younger person. That's why they're so emotional over you because uh, they never met someone like you, Aries, if you're older than this person, okay? This is not for everyone, but some of you guys, this person is younger than you. Yeah, and this person has been reflecting. This person went into hermit mode because they see you being wise. They see you being spiritual. They see you living your best life, loving yourselves, and it's working. They don't see you that you're in their. You, they see you as not being being in your feelings, Aries, and they wanna they wanna do the same thing. You know, this person is imitating everything you're doing or trying to. They're trying to Aries. If, if you guys are speakers, if you guys have a platform or a channel, this person watching you. This person's getting advice from you on your own channel. You don't even know it. 
This person is becoming enlightened because of you guys, okay? Whatever it is that you're doing, this person's admiring you. And they're going with them because of that. Yeah. And they um they see you as a nine of pentacles. They see you as very abundant. They see you as connected to nature. They see you as, as very beautiful or handsome. They see you glowing in your own right, receiving all the blessings because spirit is spoiling you right now. Yeah, yeah, they are spoiling you. Yeah, and they're manifesting you right now heavy. You could be dealing with a Gemini or they could have Gemini in their chart, but they're manifesting you big time, Aries. They're starting to uh, align themselves with the yin and yang energies. They're starting to have ego deaths. They're starting to co-create. They're starting to learn about all this stuff, Aries, because you're teaching this person, I heard. Wow. Yeah. And there you go. That's, that's what you guys are going to have together, and this is what they want to have together. Will of fortune. Happy life. Abundance. Wealth. Fortune. Good luck. Happy family home, children, the dog, everything, the vacations. They want everything, businesses, working together on projects. They want it all with you guys. Yes, let's get into your messages. I'm going to pull a couple more tarot for you guys because I always do because I love you guys so much, my loves. Okay, Aries, so I'm going to just pull a couple more cards to clarify these messages regarding this person that's coming towards you so quickly, Aries. Okay, so, yeah, let's get some um, further messages, spirits, regarding Aries person. Yes, coming towards them very quickly, my loves. Some of you guys already had communication from your person, spirit said. Okay, just keep loving yourselves. Keep holding yourselves in high regards. This is making you more attractive to your person, Aries. Yes, thank you, spirits. Give me the messages. Uh, further messages regarding the Aries person spirits, please and thank you. Yes, give the Aries the further messages regarding their person coming towards them very quickly, having this sudden awakening, sudden tower moment in their lives where uh, it pushes them forward because this is being the divinely guided by the angels right now. They're pushing this person to to heal, to purge, to move away from toxicity. Toxic people in their lives, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, like I said, this person is resting, rejuvenating, meditating, healing, um, thinking, contemplating, putting people to rest in their own lives, just just putting down their swords and, and, and realizing what they're dealing with in their own lives, okay? Yep. This person has been holding on to their money or saving their money, Aries, because they're trying to um, take a trip with you guys. They're trying to do something romantic. They want to take you guys out for your birthdays if they didn't already do so, or you guys still have birthdays coming up, whoever's watching this video. This person just wants to plan something, Aries. Yeah. they Like I said, they're saving their money. They're working on their money because you guys are getting the Ten of Pentacles in your lives. You guys are having your wishes fulfilled. You guys are abundant. You guys are having businesses. You guys are doing big things. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles. And um, this is what you guys are getting in your lives. And this person is wanting to come together with you guys. Aries, yeah, they're coming fast. This person could be a Cancer, but they're coming towards you very fast on that chariot. Don't be surprised if they pull up in front of your house. Don't be surprised if they just show up at your jobs, if they know where you work. But this person is in their car and they're coming towards you quickly. If they're traveling, if they're um, at a distance, they will come, Aries, trust me, because they're laying down their burdens. They no longer want to carry these burdens. They no longer want to be apart. They no longer want to hide their feelings and wear this mask. They just want to let everybody know that who they really love is Aries and they don't care what, it ha what they have to do to get to you. They don't care what no one else has to say. They're coming fast, Aries. Yes. Yes, they are. Yep. Look. And this, because the universe is handing you this beautiful uh, ace of pentacles. The universe is handing you your abundance. The universe is handing you the ten of pentacles. And this person is like, wow. Like, oh my God. Like, Aries is winning where, without me. Aries is getting blessings without me. I'm going to lose Aries. Aries is receiving this ace of pentacles from the universe being spoiled at this time. Having windfalls of money and breakthroughs. And this person is coming fast because they see this as a burden because you know what? They wanted, they couldn't give you what you needed in the past. This person couldn't give you this. They couldn't make you abundant. They couldn't give you what you wanted, Aries. And they're letting that go and they're working on themselves so they could actually come through and offer you this Ace of Pentacles as well. So you guys are being blessed in a lot of different areas of your lives, okay? And they see that. They see that. 
Yeah. They see that with the moon card. There's no secrets. There's no things hidden. Aries found out the truth. The Aries got the clarity. The moon card coming out twice in your reading just lets me know. You guys are finding out a lot of shit. Yeah, you guys are finding out a lot of shit, a lot of truths. And one one thing that I'm going to tell you is whatever that truth is, is regarding money as well. When you find this truth out regarding your money, Aries, you're good. You're going to be so um, abundant. You're not going to worry about nothing because you won't be juggling your money anymore. You won't be juggling your situation anymore. You won't be juggling the ideas anymore because you're going to receive that clarity. You're going to receive that blessing, that ace of coins. You're going to receive that... Um, that truth, yep, and you're getting a good news, uh, a, a good news message as well. But this is an offer. This is your person, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy coming through with the Page of Cups. They want to give you an offer. They don't even know if you're gonna accept their offer. They just want to come through and say, "Hey, you want to go for a cup of coffee, or can we please talk, Aries?" And this is what they're gonna do because they're afraid that you're just not gonna even give them the time of day. So they're gonna come in with a, a small offer at first. Okay, they might want to take you out for a drink. They want to come over and have a drink. I don't know. Yeah, but this person could be a Capricorn. But this person feels like they're tied to you. They're attached to you. They feel bonded to you. They feel like they can't let you go, Aries. They feel this attachment. And they're trying to work on this devil energy. They're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to lose that ego. They're working on that as we speak. I don't know if some of them are ready to come forward. And they feel like they already um, had that awakening. Some of them did. And some of them are still working on this energy. They're still detaching from people in their own lives, Aries. Yes. So when I tell you that this person... um. They see you as having a lot of options. They see you as having more than one option. They're scared. They think they're going to lose you, my love. Yes, this person's like, no, I can't lose my Aries. My Aries has all these beautiful options. They're being blessed by spirit. They don't need me anymore. They don't want me anymore. I don't know, Aries, but they're coming. They're coming with this page of pentacles. They are coming to give you this offer of a relationship, of an abundant life or something together because, uh, like I said, they see you having options and they don't want to lose you, okay? They don't want to lose you, Aries. That's all I got to say. They don't want to lose you. Yeah, because uh, you're, not, you're no longer trapped anymore, Aries. You freed yourself from these binders. You freed yourself from this energy and you're moving forward. You're taking all these leaps of faith, like I said before in the other reading, and they know that. They see my Aries ain't stuck no more. They're not waiting for me no more. They're not stressing about me no more. Their Aries is healed. They're liberated. No longer being bound. Yes. And that's why they're coming forward. Because they already know you're getting all these blessings and good news and good fortune. Because you work for it. Yep. And this King of Pentacles. He's coming fast. Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn Energy. Listen, this King of Pentacles wants to give you everything, Aries. They want to work with you. They want to build with you. They want to have a family legacy with you. Some of them want to join you in partnership with business. Some of you guys are getting business contracts as well. Yes. I can't make this up. Yes. There you go. The star card. You're their wish, Aries. You're their wish. I can't make it up. Look, there's this energy. I'm just pulling cards off the top of this deck since I shuffled. This is... You are this person's wish. This is the energy they see you as, their wish, the star card, because you're getting your wishes. Your stars have been aligned in your favor since you took back and healed, since you detached, since you gained your knowledge and spiritual gifts. Yeah, since you started helping yourself and others to do the same, you're getting your wish. And they see you as their wish as well. Can't make this up. Yeah, this person's releasing their burdens. Okay, and so are you, Aries. You guys are releasing your burdens. You guys are removing those swords. You guys are empowered now, like this emperor on his throne. You guys are releasing those burdens. Yes, and they just want to work together with you, Aries. They want to come together with you guys, my loves. And let me um pull a couple moonology cards for you guys um, regarding this message and this reading, my loves. Yes. Let's get some more messages for my Aries with the new Aussie card. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Couple advice messages for the Aries Spirit regarding this person coming towards them, regarding this person that loves Aries so much or has had this major awakening, regards to this beautiful connection. 
Okay, I'm going to say this again before I end this reading, okay, guys? I am not telling you you have to take this person back by any means necessary, okay, Aries? I'm just letting you know what's going on in your energy and what's coming towards you. So please don't leave that in the comment section. I don't want this person back, blah, 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 because it doesn't interest me, my loves. I'm just here to give you a, a message, and this is a free message, okay? So uh, just remember that. If you guys need a personal reading... Feel free to contact me at my email, okay, and let, leave me a comment and let me know, and I'll send you my email. Okay, my loves, give me the messages and advice for the Aries for this reading spirit. couple messages and advice for Aries from this reading regarding their person coming towards them very, very quickly. Thank you. Aries, you and your loved ones are safe, Spirit said. You might be dealing with a Scorpio, but you and your loved ones are safe. No need to worry. You guys are protected by the Most High, by Spirit, okay? And yes, you're very close to achieving all your goals. You have been putting in the work. You have been doing everything that Spirit has been telling you guys. And you are so close, Aries, to achieving your goals, okay, my love? Yes, you've been balancing out your spirituality and your practicality, you could be dealing with a Pisces, my love. Yes, you have. You've been balancing out yourselves. Yes, when I tell you to expect a powerful change in your love life, Aries, expect a powerful change in your love life, Spirit said, because a new romantic cycle is about to begin. I can't make this up. You could be dealing with a Libra, but your person is bringing justice towards you. Your person wants justice to go. Um, They want to balance this out for you guys. They want to make things right. They want to come back and, and give you everything that you deserve, all the love, all the blessings, all the abundance. They want, they are creating this powerful change. You, your spirit guides and the angels creating this beautiful, powerful change and transformation in your love life, Aries. Okay, and this person is coming towards you. Okay, my loves, because a new romantic cycle is beginning. Yes, can make this up. I love you, beautiful soul tribe, my beautiful Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. I love you guys. You guys inspired me to make you guys more videos. So keep watching, Aries, because I'll keep posting them for you guys. I love you guys. I love your beautiful comments. Thank you once again, my beautiful soul tribe. So the next time I read for you guys, my, my beautiful Aries, namaste.